Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a favorites video. I haven't sat down to film in what truly feels like forever and if you've been wondering where I've been, if you don't follow me on Instagram, also I, or, never mind. If just if you missed the video of me chatting about it, I uploaded like a where I've been chat slash vlog. I'll link it up in the corner, but to sum it up, my computer crashed and then I fell into a deep dark hole of anxiety. I'm still a little bit in that hole, but we're clawing our way out, you know? We're, we're, we're pressing on. I was actually editing my July favorites when my computer crashed, so I lost that footage. I was gonna refilm it right away, but I, like I said, I was in a hole of anxiety. Took some time to myself just to focus on being a mom and calming the f down. And I decided I would just kind of do like a current faves or my July slash August favorites, although the last month I've really not been doing much besides trying to calm the F down. <laughs> but I do have a lot of random things to share. I have a good assortment of things. I always love doing these videos. Somebody asked me the other day, I think in a Q&A on Instagram that I never answered the questions. And people call me out for that too. Like, why do you always ask for questions and then you don't answer them? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just get overwhelmed sometimes. But somebody asked me, what are your favorite videos to film or edit slash and edit? And my answer would be vlogs. I love editing vlogs. Um, I love filming vlogs too, but it can kind of be hard for me to vlog in the moment sometimes. I love editing vlogs, but I love to film and edit these. I just love it. It's very old school YouTube to me. It's why I fell in love with watching YouTube. I love sharing stuff on here with you guys. And this just is like an easy way to like regularly share random things, so. Yeah, it's time for a favorites video. Like I said, I have like a little bit of everything. I have nails. I have quite a few nail things to catch you up on since I missed a month. Not a lot, but makeup, skincare, home decor, a bath bomb favorite, some kid favorites, which I'll save for the end and then whatever else comes out of my mouth. So let's go ahead and get into it with nail polish first as usual. So the first thing I wanted to share is something I don't know if I've ever talked about on here, but it's the Olive and June nail polish remover. I used to be on Olive and June's um, PR list and they sent me this. I used to mainly go to the nail salon to get my nails done, but now with Milo, it's not always easy to go get my nails done. So like this morning, I gave myself a little manicure. So I am doing more at home stuff than I normally would have been. One time I was like, I think mid manicure or something. There was like a, a nail polish remover emergency and I realized I was out of my, I just used the um, Target Up and Up brand acetone. I just noticed a large spider web on that window inside. Yikes but it was like an emergency. I went through my stash. I found this and I tried it for the first time and I was so pleased with it. It is so easy to use. And so basically it's just like this tub and it has this sponge in the middle where you stick your nail down in there and you kind of move your nail around and it gets the nail polish off. I love it for several reasons. One, it really does a good job of getting off all of the nail polish. But two, what I love it for is sometimes, this is like a personal thing, but like if I'm filming a reel or something and my, like I just have a few chipped nails and I want to touch them up, and not like restart. It can be hard to like use your other hand that's painted too to get the nail polish off without messing that up. I love that with this, you just stick the one finger you need in and it doesn't mess up your other nails. I love it. So it's very effective. I know they sell Olive and June at Target. I don't know if this is available at Target. I'll find it wherever it is and I will link it because it's great. So highly recommend that. And it says acetone free. That's cool. I'm sure acetone's not very good for you. Now let's talk nail polish. I have quite a few to chat with you guys about. Since my last favorites video, I hadn't tried any of the summer collection that came out. These like bright neons. I can never remember what it's freaking called. Even in the other July favorites I filmed that I lost the footage, I had to look it up. Hold on. It's called Summer Make the Rules Collection. It's basically a bunch of neon colors. Some are shimmery, some are like not matte, but you know, not shimmery. The first one I tried was I Quit My Day Job, this really beautiful, like bright bubblegum pink. The thing is, okay, so I am, I did bring this polish too that I just put on today. It's called I'm Yacht Leaving. Um, and then I also did try this summer Monday through Fridays, this bright green. I have experience with these two. They chip pretty quickly, but I'm sure, I'm not sure if it's the Infinite Shine collection. That's what they sent me in PR. I do prefer just regular polish. That is my preference. I mean, these aren't bad, but I don't find that they last that much longer to make, make it worth it. They are shiny, but I'm sure the neon plays into the fact that they chip so much quicker than other nail polishes. I'm sure it's hard to formulate neon polishes, but the colors are so bright and pretty and fun that I just kept like, reapplying, retouching up, using the Olive and June stuff to like touch up a nail when it chipped, especially this pink one. I loved this pink color so much. So while it was kind of a pain in the ass because it chipped so much, I also didn't love the formula. It's kind of hard to work with, but I love the color so much 
that I painted my nails with this like three times, probably because they just kept chipping and I had things I needed to finish with the same nail polish on and whatnot. Worth it for the color. So maybe try it in the normal formula. <laughs> and then the green as well. I loved this bright lime green. I just, I love a neon color. I think it's so fun, especially it's like very in this summer. And I think I did this on my nails twice. And then, like I said, this morning I wanted to do another neon color. Um, this one, did I say it was called? Yeah, I'm Yacht Leaving. I don't normally go for a teal. I don't know why. I love greens. I love yellows, but for some reason teal, I just don't really go for. But for some reason I looked at this, I feel like it's just green enough that I enjoy it. Um, again, I've only had it on my nails for a few hours. I painted them this morning. I feel like I usually know within the first moment of me painting it. I'm like, oh, I can't stand that. I like this so far. So we'll see how it wears. And then I did get my nails done right before Milo's birthday party. And I went for one of the Barbie polishes. I also went to see Barbie and I loved it. And I loved that I was wearing a Barbie themed nail polish when I was seeing the movie. I make that a tradition. I did it for Spider-Man way back when, The Amazing Spider-Man. That collection was incredible. I still have OPI My Boyfriend Scales Walls. I did it for the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland collection way back in the day. Muppets, The Nutcracker, even though that movie is literally the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. The Disney Nutcracker. It was like truly the worst movie I've ever seen. Pirates of the Caribbean, Stranger Tides. Like I just, I love to be themed and nobody knows but me and Bradley cause I say it a thousand times. But anyway, the color I chose first and so many of you guys like messaged me or DM'd me on Instagram when I showed the PR box, which was incredible. I unboxed the PR box with you in a vlog as well. I'll link it up in the corner. Um, but so many of you were like, I knew you were gonna go for that yellow first and you weren't wrong. I love a, a good pale yellow. And this one is just so fun. It's somewhat neutral, even though it's yellow. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I loved this polish. Um, I have been a little too mentally unwell to go get my nails done. It's a long story, but the nail salon actually makes me really, really anxious. And so I just kept giving myself manicures with this color, mostly because I like was also so mentally unwell I couldn't make decisions. And I was like, well, I like that color. Let's just go for that again. But I loved it. Definitely a better formula than the neon ones. Didn't chip nearly as much. And it's just a good yellow. It is so good. And I need to try more of that Barbie collection. I'm so excited. They also just sent me, I haven't put it in a vlog yet, but they sent me their um, fall winter 2023 collection, which is all about horoscopes, which I think is really, really fun. I have my feelings about it. Maybe we'll talk about it in that vlog. At least I like the Libra one. So God bless. It's like a sparkly purple, like, ugh. Thank you. But yeah, I'm excited to try those, try more Barbie. But yeah, that's that's what my nails have been up to lately. I have one makeup favorite, but it's a good favorite. I bought this like literally the couple of days before I left for my trip to North Carolina, which I kind of vlogged that. I can link that up in the corner as well. Um, but I took this with me on the trip and I feel like I really haven't used anything else since. I love this blush. This is the Say, I believe that's how you say it. I thought it was a J at first. I thought it was Sage, but it isn't. It's an I. Dewy Blush in Peachy. This is a Jessica Braun recommendation. I've been really into cream blushes. I feel like my mustache is sweating. Well, that's because it is. You guys, I'm so anxious. I'm trying to just push through. And I'm anxious for no reason other than the fact that the anxiety has been present strongly for like the last three weeks. And my brain's like, hey, don't forget you're anxious. But I'm like, no, I'm actually okay. <sighs> but I have been so into the cream blush life probably the past year. I've really been enjoying them, but I didn't have a peachy color. And when I saw Jessica talk about this one, and I saw it in a certain video where she swatched it and she put it on and I was like, whoa, our color is usually in the same area. So I was like, I wanna try that. I ended up getting it for like $4 due to a coupon. Or no, I had points to use and then I had a gift card. It was a great day. So I got it and I love it. It's what I'm wearing today. It does dry like, I wanna say sticky, but that's gonna deter you from it. It dries a little bit dewy, but it keeps that dewy look throughout the day. It doesn't fade, like it lasts really well. I just really love it. I mostly love the color. It's really easy to apply. I love my Rare Beauty cream blush, whatever. I love the color of it, but it is so pigmented that it can be scary and it's kind of like scary to apply. This is not, <laughs> this is much easier to apply. And I just, I truly, I don't think I've used anything else in the last two months, so. I love this blush so much. I have one skincare item, but I am loving it and it's actually gone. I used the very last bit of it this morning. Thank goodness I have another one. But this is the Josie Marin Argan Bright Skin Vitamin C Serum Dark Spot Eraser. It's a serum, a vitamin C situation. I kind of did like a bathroom clear out. I was actually filming like a big <laughs> bedroom deep clean and declutter video and I lost all that footage, so. Whatever, I did a bathroom clear out and I just have so much skincare that's usually mostly sent to me. And I just had so much, I kind of wanted to go through it, pass on what could still be used, toss what was probably expired, and then just like be better about trying new things while they're still good. 
And I follow a lot of people that like use a vitamin C serum. I know it's good for your skin. I don't know exactly what it does, but people love it. So I was like, let me throw it in there. And I still don't know exactly what it does, but I love the way this stuff makes my skin look and feel. I swear my skin looked the best it's ever looked when I first started using this. I was using something else that kind of gave me, gave me a little texture. So it's not the best at the moment, but this makes my skin look and feel so good. Like it just is so moisturizing. I use this only in the morning. I follow up with my um, Josie Marin as well SPF. I think I talked, yeah, I did it in my morning routine, which I can link up in the corner. I feel like I've used up all my cards already and we're like two minutes into the video. That's not true. We're probably like 15 minutes in, but this just adds so much moisture that some days I forget to follow up with the SPF or a moisturizer or anything. It is so moisturizing and I love the way makeup looks sitting on top of it. It's just an incredible skincare product. I love most of Josie Marin stuff that I've tried. You guys know I love her face butter. I love the body butter. I love the pineapple cleanser. Like I just, I love Josie Marin. So this is no exception. I think it is expensive. I think it's like $66, but it's fabulous. So if you have that money to spend, if you're looking for a nice vitamin C serum and some moisture, this is so good. I just have, I am loving it. Next up is kind of like a body care favorite. It's a bath bomb. It's a SpongeBob bath bomb. So I believe I actually uploaded my, I've talked about the SpongeBob collection in a few videos here. So you probably have already seen it, um, but I actually put up a reel on Instagram and it went viral. It was, it's the most viral video I've ever had. It currently has 1.4 million views, which for me is nuts. <laughs> I've never had a video. I don't think more than like 500,000. I like how I'm like keeping tabs. Like I actually care. I just think it's like fascinating. I think it's very interesting how like I didn't do anything differently than any other video I upload. Like I, I know I don't have like quite a niche or anything, but like I didn't do anything special. I think my timing was right. I was sure to go on the first day, edit it and upload it on the first day it came out. So I think that helped me. But other than that, like, I don't know what I did, but it took off on Instagram. I uploaded the same thing to TikTok, which I think it has like 4,000 views. And I uploaded it to YouTube as well. And I don't, I don't know who watches YouTube shorts, but if it's like an interesting enough one, I do upload it to YouTube as well. So that, that's the thing too. It's the same exact video on all three platforms, but it took off on Instagram. So I just think it's always interesting. My Halloween um, Lush face mask, like the um, jelly pumpkin face mask one, took off on TikTok. That one went semi-viral. The SpongeBob million, that I've never reached a million views on anything before. That's nuts. But anyway, from that whole collection, the SpongeBob bath bomb itself is my very favorite just due to the scent. It smells so good. Like that video went so viral that people were like arguing in the comments. There's like comments in different languages. Several times a day people add it to their story and it would tell me or they'd tag their friends. Like it's just, it was so cool. But people, a lot of people in the comments were like, I can't believe that SpongeBob isn't pineapple scented, which I get. But in the collection, there's also a pineapple house massage bar and that's pineapple scented. So. I, I get what they're doing, but I don't even care because this smells so good to me. It smells like passion fruit. It smells like lush, but like unique. I don't know how to explain it. Um, there is a surprise on the inside of both Patrick and SpongeBob. If you want to see those surprises, go check out. I did demo reels, reels on Instagram of both SpongeBob and Patrick. Um, and you can see the surprise inside. Squidward is great as well. I still actually haven't used the Krabby Bathy, like the big Krabby Patty one, but I love all three of like the main characters. And SpongeBob is still available in stores, at least if he's online. So I'll link them down below, but I just went in to actually buy the Barbie stuff. It's sitting behind the camera I'll show you in a vlog um, and they had Spongebob still so I got another one because I was like I love this bath bomb All right, I just took a quick break to help put my son down for a nap, but I'm back Let's talk about home decor. Firstly, I wanted to talk about the shelf that we added to my bath room decor. You may have seen it in a previous vlog. We kind of decorated it together. I have a gorgeous tub that has just kind of like tile all around it. So I have some room to decorate. I have a little rattan shelf tiered thing that I got from World Market a while back. And then I have some prints. And I decided one day that I wanted to add kind of like a floating shelf right in the middle. I found the most perfect one from Target that like fit so perfectly. It's just basically a big wooden block. It comes in a few different finishes, but I just got like the normal wood looking one because it kind of matched the rattan vibe and the vibe of the tile. I don't hate the tile that's in there. It's a little bit outdated. A dream of ours is one day to redo the bathroom, but that is nowhere near happening. So I'm just trying to work with like, it's just kind of like boho earthy vibes. So I was trying to work with that. Um, and so this wood shelf just fit in perfectly and I love the shelf. I love the way it looks. I, I mostly wanted it for like more storage and like more 
candles and just a more relaxing feel. Bradley installed it. I think he had an easy time installing it. I'm not entirely sure, but he did say that like you could put a good amount of weight on there because it was anchored well or something. So he was impressed with that. And so far I am just absolutely loving it. I love the way I styled it. I love, I just love it being there and it's a good shelf. So if you're looking for that, I'll have it linked down below. It was, I think 25, 30 bucks. So pretty reasonable and it just looks really nice. I also today have planned to film a shelf Sunday on that bathroom shelf. So hopefully that's already up. Go check it out on my Instagram, which is Amy Lynn Butchen. If you don't know what shelf Sunday is, it's kind of just like shelf decor, but I try to do like some stop motion in there and just a fun way to talk about decorating. But it'll be the last shelf Sunday before Halloween shelf Sundays, so. It's an exciting time. And then on that shelf, I have some of my taper candles in these really fun taper candle holders that I actually got off Amazon. I was looking for, I was expecting to need to go to like Goodwill to find it, but I was looking for like kind of like classic colored glass taper candle holders. And I found these awesome sets of three on Amazon and they come in a bunch of different colors. So I'll put a picture of like all three that you get. All three of them are different, which I think is fun. And they all come in different colors. So um, these are two different pieces from two different sets. I got two colors. I got the purple and then the yellow. I use them to put my H&M striped taper candles, which I talked to the ground at this point. I talk about those so much. I love them. I actually also use them in my um, decor setup, like um, the table setup for the buffet for Milo's birthday party. They just fit in really nicely. The purple and the yellow stripes. And I just, I love them. I think they're great quality. I love those candles as well. But again, this is exactly like what I was looking for for taper candles. And I was just delighted to find it on Amazon. So I will link it down below. And I love those taper candles so much that I actually just placed another order with H&M and I ordered more of the purple ones. Cause with taper candles, I actually use them. I burn them and that's what I love about them. It's like a fun, easy way to switch out decor like those are the Dollar Tree candles which are kind of on their they're, they're dwindling down, which does make me sad, but I do have a backup of the hot pink because I love it so much. So the ones that I really love, I wanted to get backups of. So I did reorder the purple stripes, but I also ordered some fun fall and Halloween stuff. I'm going to be doing, I think two separate videos, a fall decor haul and then Halloween decor haul. So stay tuned. It's almost our time. It is our time. Like it is now. September is in a few days as I'm filming this. So it might even be it when you're watching this. I can't believe it. Another decor fave is a really random one that I only saw because I had some Amazon returns and I dropped mine off at Kohl's. I chose Kohl's for that day. I do love Kohl's. I always love walking by. You guys know I love the LC by Lauren Conrad stuff. I love their baby stuff. They have good toys and books for kids in there too, but they're smart and they put the Amazon returns right next to the sale section. And this adorable frame was there. And I was just like, I love that periwinkle color. You guys know I'm a bitch for a scalloped edge. I love the orange. And I just thought it was a really nice way to add a pop of color to a very like white shelf I have happening downstairs. It's the one like right under the stairs. I still haven't put a picture in it. You guys know I'm terrible at filling frames. It just stresses me out for some reason, um, but I eventually will, but I just love this frame. And it is online and it's already on clearance. And then you can use whatever Kohl's coupons, cash, Kohl's card you have on top of it. I love it. I think it's on sale for $9 and then you, you can stack things. So it's a great frame. I love it. Just wanted to mention that. I think it's super cute. Okay, so I was just on World Market to check that this is still available before I talk about it. It is on super clearance. I paid $30 for this. It's now on sale for $10.49. And it's such a good planter. So I'll, I'll show you a proper um, close up of it downstairs. It's kind of difficult to move, so I didn't want to move it. But what I love about this planter, I love the way it looks, but it also has this base to it. Uh, so it's like a two piece situation. It has the base, then it has the bowl. The bowl has a drainage hole and it drains into the base. So you don't have to like move it to the sink or put something under it to water it. It's like all right in there. I guess eventually you should take out the base and dump the water, but um, it holds it for a little bit and it makes it perfect to put on a shelf, like I have it. I did like a whole summer shelf. There's also a shelf Sunday on that on my Instagram. And I really loved the way it turned out, but I added this planter to it and I love, it's unrelated, but I love the plant I have in it. It's a really random plant. I think I found it Lowe's actually. And it looks like velvet and it has like pink lines through it. I absolutely love it. Love the way it looks. And I just love that planter. So I cannot believe it's on sale for $10. So run and grab it if it's still in stock. Check your store. I'm definitely gonna share about it on Instagram today. I Is it ugly? Why is it on sale for so much? Do I have ugly taste? No, no. It's a gorge planter. And I like that it's pink and brown, but like neutral. Like it's just, it's a fun pop of color, but also, I don't know, you get what I'm trying to say. Hold on, my dog really wants in the room. He's having some water. Bradley just played frisbee with him, so he's tired. You okay? 
You're just gonna pant through my video? <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, but pressing on into kids stuff. So if you are not interested, <laughs> look at that is so loud, dude. So if you're not interested in that, I'll see you in the next one. I love you, thank you for watching. First up, holy crap, kid, toddler, baby, somebody who still naps. This is life-changing. So you guys know we love the Hatch company. We have the adult Hatch. Um, I don't even know what it's called, Hatch. I don't know, but we have the adult one that like, it has a lot of cool features, but we mostly just use it for the sound machine and it's like an alarm clock as well. Um, but Milo uses the Hatch Rest. We love it. We have the travel sound machine as well. And now we have the ultra travel sound machine. So this little thing is called the Hatch Rest Go. It just recently came out. Um, and I've seen other companies have like the smaller, um, I think it's called like the Shush, the Hush, something. Um, but Hatch decided to release their own and thank God. We rely, we all rely on Hatch around here. So it's just basically a portable mini sound machine. It unhooks or you can like hook this to the side of the stroller, side of the car seat, and it has the exact same sound he sleeps with at home. Milo prefers the rain sound, which I will admit is really, really nice. I thought it only had six sounds on it. It has way more than six sounds. So it has a lot of options. It has like the heartbeat, it has white noise, the rain, the water trickling, um, the shush sound. Milo is a great napper at home, but he like prefers to be at home for napping. So it's hard to get him to nap out and about, which we're really good about his naps. And we try to stay on top of them, stay on his schedule because he's just a happier baby. And then we're all happier, right? <laughs> Cause he's just a happier baby when he gets his sleep. But for Disneyland days, we do, you know, we're at Disneyland all day. So we do interrupt the naps. Sometimes he takes a nap in the stroller, sometimes he doesn't, but we used this the last time and he went to sleep right away and took a great nap. So I'm delighted to have this. Sometimes we have to go to like family events where we want him to sleep in the car, either on the way or on the way back. And he does it, he always fights a car nap, but I think with this, it'll do the trick. And the best part about this is it's only $35. That shocked me. Like it's such a nice little thing from Hatch for 35 bucks. And it comes in five different dreamy shades. I really truly couldn't pick one. I wanted all of them. I still want all of them. It doesn't make sense to own all of them, but I went for the green because it matched our stroller. I will link this below. It's going to be life-changing, I already know it. Then I have a couple of toys. So this one was, I made a little birthday wish list on Amazon for his birthday party. And I just put it on the invite, which I know that seems really like uppity to do, but I highly recommend it. If your kid is picky or if you're picky about what your kid plays with, there's just certain things that like Milo enjoys better. And I didn't want a bunch of stuff that he wouldn't use. I know that there's stuff he would love and books he would love. So I just made a wish list and I put it on there. You know, they can make up their minds if they want to get something from it. But it also like, before kids, I knew nothing about kids. So if you provided me with a wish list, I'm going to buy off of that. And then everybody's happy, you know? I think it's more common these days as well. It's just really handy and easy. So I made a little registry. This was a toy I saw on TikTok. And I think it is so cute. I love mushrooms. Who doesn't love mushrooms? They are basically these rattle shakers. They all have little faces, which they're different expressions. So you can work on your emotions with them, but it's also just kind of like a peekaboo toy that you can match the colors. Um, and Milo loves it. He loves to yell out the colors and he loves to put the right colors back in their places. And I am not against toys, but I am less likely to buy a toy if there's a bunch of different parts. But if the toys fit all together nicely like this and can be stored away, I love a toy that can be put back together and it's not just a bunch of pieces you don't know what to do with. So I love this. I think it would be a great gift. Great for your toddler, your baby. This is great for like a one-year-old. Nice big pieces. Milo loves things that shakes. So he just loves this thing and I think it's really cute. So I will link it down below. He got so many great toys for his birthday that I wanted to put together like a blog post of just clickable links of everything he got and what it does and everything. And I can still do that if you guys are interested. So let me know. It just, you know, my computer crashed and it's been a moment, but it might be helpful with like the holidays coming up. Um, so let me know if you'd want to see that. Just our Amazon toy favorites. It might be a good blog post. And then I have some bath toys. So I did an Instagram sponsored post with Matchstick Monkey. This is not sponsored. This is not obligated, but I do love these and I wanted to tell you about them. So when I was pregnant, I went, I was at Target and I bought this teething toy for Milo and I only bought it because I liked the way the face looked. These monkeys have the same face. Um, and I got it home and I realized that the, it was called the Ludo the Lion Teether, which if you don't know, my dog's name is Ludo, which I was like, that is crazy. And so I was obsessed with the toy already. Just, I loved the way it looked. And then I loved that its name was Ludo. And I didn't even force it to be his favorite toy, but it ended up being Milo's very favorite teething toy. He loved it. We eventually called it Little Ludo and then Big Ludo was the dog. He loved it so much that I put it in his baby box, like his keepsake stuff. So when that company reached out to me asking if I would want to work with them with their bath toys, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even 
even know you had bath toys. Yes, I want to try. I tried them out and we, me, I love them and Milo absolutely loves them. So there's a few different options. You have these like wobble monkeys, which are even fun out of the tub. Milo ran in here as I was filming and he took these off the bed and he was like wobbling them on the floor. So they're fun no matter what, but they do float in the tub. They're super fun. There's also a little boat and it comes with another wobble one. We have the yellow of that. I left it in the bathroom because it was, it had some water on it. But the nice thing is these are mold free toys. That candle's about to run out. <laughs> They're mold free toys. There's no holes or anything. And they also are made of like anti mold material, which is really cool. Um, I love the colors of these, but it comes in several different colors. Like I said, it has that boat where you plop the wobbler in the boat and you can push it around. Milo loves the boat. And then probably Milo's very favorite is this like slide. It comes with three different little heads. I think it's a monkey, a giraffe, and Ludo the lion. The slide suctions to the tile of your tub. You put the little ball on it and it rolls down and he loves it. He puts these monkeys on the slide too. They're just great bath toys. So I wanted to share. I feel like I hadn't heard a lot of people talk about them and they're all available on Amazon. So I will link those down below as well. I recently, I lost the footage and I'm so upset, but I, I lost so much footage, you guys. It's so upsetting, <laughs> but it's okay. So some things can be refilmed, some cannot, but I did a huge declutter of Math Matthew. That's my brother. I did not declutter my brother's room. <laughs> <laughs> I did a huge declutter of Milo's room, my son, and I'm so upset I lost the footage because like I really tried. Not that I ever like do things half, actually that's not true. Sometimes I do do things half ass because I have to because I have no time. But like I had the afternoon, I had the time, Bradley was with Milo downstairs and I switched up the camera shots. I got really good shots of things. And one of the things I did in it was deep clean and clear out and declutter his whole bathroom. And I got rid of any toys that had holes in it because we found mold in one of the toys and it was just gross. So no more more toys, no more bath toys with holes. It will all be mold free bath toys. And these are one of those. So they're great. So I will link that down below as well as everything else I've mentioned. But okay guys, that is it I think. Hold on, let me check my little list. Oh, it's right in front of my face. One more kid thing. This is like the most important one. You've probably seen this on TikTok on Instagram. Buy it if you have not. It's the Solar Buddies sunscreen applicator. Basically, you twist this part off and you it's messy because it's been in use. You put whatever your preferred sunscreen is. We just use the Baby Ganix one. You squeeze it in there and then you open this part and it's like this little roller ball with a sponge applicator. You guys, sometimes I would, I, this is, makes me a terrible mom. Sometimes I'd think about going to the pool and I'd be like, it's too much work to put sunscreen on and I, so I wouldn't do it. This cuts the time in half putting on sunscreen, makes it so much easier and Milo actually enjoys it. He like giggles while I'm doing it, which before then he fussed during sunscreen, he was not a fan. This gives you a nice good even application. I feel like a lot of baby sunscreens are super thick which mine is thick and it still comes out of here really nicely. And it just makes it so easy. Like the other day we went to Disneyland and I could like reapply really quickly on his legs that were in the sun. It is so good. I did have to wait. I bought it on Amazon. There was a bit of a waiting list, but it then it didn't charge. It was one of those things where it's like, buy it now, we'll charge you when it's available to ship. We'll charge you, we'll ship it. It was one of those. Life changing. Can't believe I almost left it out of this video. It's necessary. Oh, Ludia's has joined me. But okay, I think that's actually it now. Thank you guys so much for watching. <clears throat> My voice is leaving. I haven't filmed one of these where I scream at you for an hour in a long time. I gotta tell you guys, I was feeling very anxious sitting down to film this. Even had to take a break, several breaks in the middle of it to kind of like, you know, help slow my heart and just kind of calm down. And by the end of it, I feel fine now. It's been a struggle, I won't lie to you. I could cry, but I've really been struggling. And I just wanna thank you guys. Who would've thought I would've ended this video crying? <laughs> I just wanna thank you guys. I was really vulnerable and honest in that, in the vlog I uploaded where I, um, told you where I've been and all that. So much so that I was like, should I edit this out? And I thought about editing several things out and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to because that is one of my biggest missions here with having a very small platform to share. I wanna be honest about my mental health because I, when other people share about their mental health, I feel so seen and I feel so not alone and it is such a nice feeling and that I always wanna be an advocate for mental health. The fact that you're not alone, I just, I was, nervous to put that portion of the video up and I, the comments on that video, whenever I'm having a bad day now, I'm gonna go to those comments. You guys are so sweet. And that's a lot of the reason why I left it in there. I knew you guys would understand. I know a lot of you struggle with the same things I struggle with, whether it be anxiety, depression, OCD, which I should say, I do not struggle with depression. I feel like I had a little taste of it in whatever hole I fell into, but day to day, I don't struggle with it. But I know a lot of you guys have opened up that you do. Just whatever, mental health problems. And I just, I always want to be open about it. I want to talk about it. I want to end the stigma. And so 
Um, I just, I wanted to say thank you so, so much for the kind words. I love you guys so much. You guys help me more than you understand and more than you know. And that's why, like, I was like, I'm anxious to film. Why can't I function? Like, this is just such an easy thing to do is sit down and chat to you guys. And that's where I forced myself through it. I'm like, you will eventually, the anxiety will fall off. You'll feel better and you'll be glad you did it. So hopefully in editing, like I can <laughs> edit out some anxiety moments, but I'm still on the struggle bus of anxiety. I'm just trying to get on with my life because I know that that will help pull me out of the dark hole as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I will have everything linked down below. Obviously I'm behind on life and everything, but I have ideas of stuff coming up. I need to do an empties, which I wanted to get done in August. I don't think it's gonna happen. Fall decor haul, Halloween decor haul, more vlog stuff. Just stick around, stay tuned. I'll have my face to subscribe if you would like, and then some videos you might enjoy. But it's it's my time, guys. That's what I'm counting on is like fall to come and just, just heal my soul. <laughs> so let's hope. But I love you guys. I've said that a thousand times, but I really do mean it. I'll see you very soon. I'm also taking video requests. Let me know. But I love you. I'll see you later and I hope you have a great day. Bye.